welcome again in the lecture of company final accounts today we are going to discuss about the summary chart or we can say major heads and subheads where we have to put the various accounts and its balances on the basis of that notes we will prepare the balance sheet as well as statement of profit and loss account so let us start the uh, major head or we can say summary heads or summary chart of company final accounts so here is the company final accounts as per the company's act 2013 in the last lecture we have already seen the uh, pro forma of balance sheet in part 1 and uh, after that we also studied the statement of uh, profit and loss or pro forma of profit and loss where we have seen the various items of uh, statement of profit and loss as well as balance sheets now today we will discuss about the uh, balance sheets and its heads where we have to study the uh, items which will be considered under the notes or we can say uh, as a subhead parts so let us start the uh, company final account and pro forma of balance sheets and its summary head first of all uh, we have to think about balance sheet in the balance sheet pro forma we have already discussed that there are certain assets where uh, the basic assets are divided into two parts that is non-current assets and current assets so uh, under the head non-current asset we have to uh, study the certain assets that is uh, property plant and equipment so it is the non-current assets under the head property plant and equipment there are certain accounts which we have to discuss uh, what parts or what assets will be added or what kind of assets will we have to record under the head property plant and equipments as we have studied in the accounting standard that is property plant and equipment that is accounting standard 10 where we have already seen the uh, how we can calculate the cost of assets and depreciation on that assets so as per that accounting standard and uh, the company's final account 2013 companies act 2013 the property plant and equipment comprises land and building building premise, business premises leasehold premises plant and equipment office equipment freehold property furniture and fixtures motor car so these all are the fixed assets which we have to consider under the property plant and equipment as well as motor vehicles tools and equipment machinery engineering tools uh, bearer plants and if there is a accumulated depreciation which we have to de de uh, deduct from these uh, assets uh, bearer plant, plant what we have already discussed in that uh, accounting standard lecture where meaning is that the plant which is beard and the income from that particular uh, plants is to be generated so these are the uh, assets or we can say plant property plant and equipment where when we are going to prepare the company final account at that time we have to prepare one note which is called as property plant and equipment and all the assets which are going to be uh, mentioned or we can see you can see here the assets which we have to mentioned under the head property plant and equipment second one is work in progress as you know capital work in progress if building under construction is a capital it's considered as capital and it is if it is under construction then it is called as capital work in progress then investment investment property if there is in any kind of investment property it will be considered over here goodwill that is intangible asset it has to be mentioned over here other intangible assets are brands um, brands and trademarks computer software master heads must heads uh, uh, patents and copyrights got, as well as other intellectual property services and operating rights uh, where recipes formula models designs prototypes license franchisee mining such kind of assets will be considered under the head other intangible assets after that certain intangible assets which are under development as uh, computer software under development uh, will be called as uh, intangible assets under development after this some biological assets other than bearer plant as we have already seen the uh, meaning of bearer plant in the lecture of accounting standard 10 other than that bearer plants there are certain biological assets uh, such as livestock uh, farmhouse other biological asset which we have to mention over here after that some financial assets are there it comprises three types or uh, four types that is investment in long term invest uh, trade receivables that is non-current 
loans long term and others and under the head investment long term fund equity infrastructure is there preferential government securities debentures bonds mutual funds partnership firms trade, trade investments all investments are covered under the head investment which is called as long term after that there are certain trade receivable that is trade debtors or we can say sundry debtors uh, book or book debts, uh, secured considered good, secured unsecured considered good, and doubtful. Uh, if it is a doubtful at that time, we have to consider over here uh, or the uh, as per the financial assets trade receivable, as well as allowances for bad and doubtful debts uh, due by debts due by director. Long term uh, loans, long term may be a securities deposit for a telephone uh, loans to related parties and loans due by director as well as long term loans other assets are there financial other financial assets or we can say non current assets after that there are certain deferred tax assets uh, which we have to mention here and last one is other non current assets here the capital advances security deposits advance to directors preliminary expenses which to be written off immediately share issue the expenses company formation expenses underwriter commission discount issue on shares etc we have to mention under the head uh, other non current assets after that you can see in the pro forma of balance sheet that is current assets so what is current assets so we have to mention over here current assets which are categorized as uh, investments financial assets uh, current tax assets other current assets so under the head investment or uh, inventories a raw material is there after that uh, work in progress stock of finished goods stock in trade stores and spares loose tools goods in transits all these are considered as inventories and it has to be mentioned under the head uh, current asset and subhead inventories then later on financial assets financial assets are categorized as investment short uh, short term uh, then uh, trade receivable current cash and cash equivalent bank balances other than above three that is one two three that is investment trade receivable and cash equivalent cash and cash equivalent other than that three uh, other than these three the bank balance it has to be mentioned over here and uh, loans which is short term so under the head investment uh, of short term equity infrastructure is there preference share is there uh, government or government bonds securities debentures mutual fund partnership firms trade investment uh, all these assets are covered under the head financial assets after that there are certain trade receivables where the trade receivables uh, which is called as sundry data secured considered as good unsecured considered as good and doubtful as well as allowances for bad and doubtful debts debts due by directors so these are the trade receivable but it is the nature is current cash and cash equivalent as you know the cash in hand cash at bank current account balance with banks pretty cash checks and drafts on hand will be uh, recorded over here as well as bank deposit debit balance and margin money will be recorded over here then bank balance other than above uh, above that is uh, investment receivable cash and cash equivalent balance cash ba or bank balance will be recorded over here Loans or which we can say a short term loans will be recorded as a sundry deposit, security deposit, deposit custom authority, short term loans given by the company, loans to related company as well as loans to director, managing directors or loans due by directors, advance to top bills receivable, acceptance received, expenses prepared, carried, on, carried forward. So these all the uh, assets recorded in this head. Then there are certain other assets which are not considered in the above factors, these above uh, head at that time it will be considered as other financial asset. Then current tax asset is there, uh, then it should be recorded over here. Other current assets such as outstanding income or income receivable or accrued interest on investment will be recorded under the head, current other current asset. Then there are certain equities and liabilities. Uh, so as per the uh, first of all I would like to uh, discuss one thing that in the pro forma we have already seen the liabilities first then we have seen the assets but as per the companies act 2013 
and division 2 the schedule of uh, schedule 3 of the company act 2013 and the uh, <coughs> accounting standard rule 2015 the uh, assets should be recorded firstly then liabilities on that basis we have mentioned here the uh, we have discussed here the assets then liabilities so under the head liabilities there are certain liabilities and it has to be it is divided into two that is first one is equity liability that is own liability and second one is third party liability or it is called as liabilities so under the head equities and liability equity share capital is there uh, as you know the capital is first of all it is it must be authorized capital then issued and subscribed capital if uh, calls are unpaid or calls in areas there or unpaid allotment money is there it has to be deducted from the subscribed capital then if shares forfeited are there at that time that share forfeited amount will be added in the capital then the second part is other equity what is that the other equities are reserve and surplus capital redemption reserve debenture redemption reserve any kind of reserve which we have to mention in the under the head other equity and if share option outstanding statement of profit and loss account is debit balance is there or uh, uh, it has to be deducted and if there is a credit balance it has to be added retain earning security premium general reserve reserve fund has to be mentioned over here then equity component of financial instrument share premium gratuity fund revaluation reserve investment allowances uh, if investment allowance is there it has to be uh, record over here after that uh, if there is a investment fluctuation fund or development rebate reserve or staff benevolent fund uh, staff benevolent fund it, it has to be added under the head other equity and if uh, the liability is other than the equity it will be called as liability so under the head liability there are certain non current liabilities first one is financial liability second one is uh, provisions defer tax liability other non non current liabilities financial liabilities other current liabilities and provisions as well as current tax liabilities first of all we will discuss about the financial liability that is borrowings or we can say long term if bonds and debentures accrued uh, interest accrued and due on debentures public deposit that is credit balance fixed de uh, deposit that is uh, credit balance uh, then uh, mortgage lo mortgage long term loan long term loans from bank or financial institution secured then unsecured loans for working capital long term loans from government or central government which is secured long term maturities of finance uh, leases obligations deferred payment liabilities etc then trade payable <coughs> trade payable in, uh, comprises sundry creators creators for goods and other financial liabilities uh, comprises as other financial non financial liability that uh, that is other current non financial liabilities and then under the head provisions long term that is provisions for employee benefit provisions for gratuity provision for workman's compensation provisions for warranty provisions for staff benefit fund provisions for employees on leave payable on retirement so these all are recorded under the head provisions for uh, which is long term then defer tax liabilities uh, after that other non current liabilities that is premium on redemption of debentures then uh, the next head is current liabilities under the head current liabilities uh, the heads are again same financial uh, uh, liabilities other current liabilities provisions and current tax liabilities so under the head for uh, financial liabilities borrowing short term borrowings cash credit and overdraft bank uh, that is short term demand deposit from uh, demand deposits uh, from the bank sundry creditors current maturities of long term debts current maturities of finance lease obligations share application money these all are recorded under the head financial liabilities after that other current liabilities which is revenue received in advance outstanding expenses payable interest accrued and due on loan proposed equity dividend which is considered under the head provision that is short term and then uh, <coughs> uh provisions for employee benefit provisions that is staff provident fund provision for taxation and pension after that the head is current tax liability under the head and the provision for taxation and uh, if there is advance payment of income tax it will be deducted from the provision for taxation so in this way the uh, summary of balance sheet or we can say the balance sheet 
uh, assets and liabilities and which item are to be recorded under which head it has to be clear over here uh, i hope all of you understand these items there is no need to uh, mug up these all these thing but you can uh, view this video again and again or you may take a screenshot of this uh, video where you can prepare for your examination and which item will be included uh, under which head say for example if there is asset it will be recorded under the property plan and equipment head so in this way i would like to say thank you thank you very much in the next video we will see the summary of uh, profit and loss account thank you thank you very much